This is the half kneeling cable external rotations in the scapular plane with 90 degrees of abduction. So we're in a half kneeling position here and we want the cable arm to be about chest or shoulder height when you perform this when you're in a half kneeling position. So we don't want it too high being above your shoulder in this position. We also don't want it to be too low either. So from right here in a half kneeling position, if Peter's doing it with his left arm, his left knee will be down, his right leg up in front, and vice versa on the other side. All right, so from here, he's gonna bring his elbow out to his side, and then he's gonna close off on that arm. So originally there, when he had his elbow up, there was about a 180 degree angle between his upper arm and his torso. Now there should be about a 145 degree angle between the two. All right, so he's closed off on that arm, and now we're gonna do external rotation. So this is pure ball and socket movement here. That elbow should stay right where it is. He's not pulling back towards me with his elbow. It should just be nice, clean external rotation. Kind of, I call it windshield wiper-like movement here. All right, so when he's doing this, he's not cranking down with his lat. He should be feeling this all on the back side of the shoulder in those external rotators. And this is a pretty easy, subtle, deliberate movement, all right? It's not something you're gonna do powerfully or explosively. You wanna do this under control. So common mistakes we'll see with this exercise, people try to use too much weight and they'll end up recruiting muscles that we want, don't wanna recruit in this exercise. So they might pull their elbow back and crank down with their lat, or they might have their humerus pop out, or not pop out, but glide anteriorly and superiorly, and that can cause some anterior shoulder discomfort. So make sure you're using very little weight on this exercise. And you can even monitor the front side of your shoulder with your free hand as you perform the exercise to make sure that humerus isn't moving anteriorly, anteriorly or superiorly.